Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan has announced his resignation after parliamentary forces assured him of their intention not to nominate a candidate for the office of Prime Minister, and the relevant memorandum was signed with the prosperous Armenia party. In his televised address to the nation, the now acting Prime Minister said that although his resignation carries a formal nature, the moment is actually emotional because with this we recap yet another phase of our revolution and we enter an entirely new time period, he said. Later in the day, President Armen Sarkisian accepted the resignation of the cabinet. If a new prime minister is not elected within two weeks, the parliament will be dissolved and Armenia will hold snap parliamentary elections in early December. Russian border guards in Armenia have apprehended four trespassers on the Armenia-Turkey border on Monday and Tuesday. A group of four, allegedly natives of South Asia, was detained during an attempt to illegally cross the state border at night. The Russian border guards have handed them over to Armenian law enforcement. The harsh reality is that any settlement of the Karabakh conflict is going to require the return of some portion of the occupied territories, outgoing US ambassador to Armenia, Richard Mills, said in an interview with EVN Report. The statement caused an uproar in the Armenian media and was commented both by Armenian officials and representatives of the Armenian community. In particular, Executive Director of the Armenian National Committee of America, Ram Hamparyan, called diplomats' remarks reckless. Sadly. His was a 10-year mark by moving goalposts and missed opportunities. Too many lectures, too little action. And no U.S. Army tax treaty, he said. Asked to comment on the remark, spokesman for the Armenian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Anna Nagdalyan, said Armenia's position on the settlement of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict has been repeatedly stressed and is reflected in the program of the government. Meanwhile, acting Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan said one can consider the statement from the departing U.S. ambassador as a statement from a departing ambassador, and he reiterated Armenia's position on Karabakh. Official opening of the Tumor Center in Paris took place on Tuesday. Armenia's acting education minister, Arai Karatunyan, was on hand at the opening of the Paris branch. In his remarks, the Armenian official said such branches will open in Moscow, Berlin and several other European capital cities too. There are three Tumor Centers in Armenia and one in Artsakh. Another one is expected to open in Beirut next month. Tourists visiting Armenia last year have spent $1.120 billion, the World Tourism Organization reported. According to the respective report, 1.495 million tourists visited Armenia in 2017. Armenia beat Macedonia 4-0 in the fourth round of their UEFA Nations League group matches. The victory comes after a surprise defeat by Gibraltar. The Armenian national football squad and their fans celebrated this win at the stadium in Armenia's capital city of Yerevan. In their previous two Nations League games, however, Armenia had lost to Macedonia by a score of 0-2 and to Gibraltar by a score of 0-1.